Yes, uh, good afternoon, class. I welcome you to Metrica Hub, your YouTube channel that is going to be uh, going with you all the way from grade nine until you pass it, go everywhere. Uh, this is a channel that is going to be empowering you in your studies. Every information that you would want is actually going to be readily available. Just please keep connected and share the channel metric up to our friends and our families so that all of us we can do good today we are just going to start on our first chapter uh term i mean types of forces this is natural sciences grade nine term three topic one just keep connected and uh when you subscribe turn on your notification button so that you can be able to receive uh the next lectures and uh, information that is going to be posted on our platform. So I just have this uh, board that I've posted on the board, um, information that I've posted on the board here that we are just going to be explaining and uh, interacting with as we go in this uh, uh, lecture of today. Uh, the terminology, we have got four C. Uh, we have got our terms here. The first term is force. The first term is forcing. Uh, what is force? I'm sure you have seen it or you have read in your books. What is force? Force, a push or a pull that takes that takes place when two objects interact. When two objects interact, there is a push. Or they or there is a pool that takes place when two objects, there are two objects, two objects that interact classy. They when two when two objects interact, there is a push or a pull. Therefore, we define that as force. And then uh what are the new what are the uh, units of force? Force is measured in newtons. Uh, it's measured in newtons class force is measured in newtons we use n to represent newtons in uh in your books and in your question papers you would see that uh whenever calculations are done and whenever we are representing amount of force we use n we don't normally write it in full n is used as an abbreviation representing what representing the unit of force which is what which is newtons force is measured in newtons class force is measured in what in newtons uh friction the next term is friction friction the force that acts between two objects rubbing together when two objects rub on each other there is opposing force or there is a force that is there which we call that Force is called what? It's called friction. It is called friction. Friction, it is produced. Friction is produced when two objects rub on each other. When two objects are rubbing on each other, there is an opposing motion, which we find there forming a force called friction. Uh, and then we go on. Uh, what is force? Force we have already talked about that a push or a pull uh, that acts on 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 object, and then all oh, contact forces. Contact forces require two objects to put to I mean to, to to touch in order for force to act. Contact forces. Contact forces class. Contact forces require two objects to touch in order for force for forces to act on, on the object. When two objects touches each other, we have got what is called uh, contact forces. Example, we have got pushing or pulling a chair. When you push or pull a chair, that is uh, a type of a force which is defined as what? As contact forces. So contact forces is produced uh, when, when, the, when uh, two objects when we have got uh, the objects that are acting on each other. So one other thing is that we have got what is called 
field forces. Field forces, non-contact forces is the opposite of what? Non-contact forces. Field forces is an opposite of contact forces, which we can say or which can be defined as uh, act as, as uh, an act on objects at a distance without the objects touching each other. When the objects are not touching each other, we call that non-contact force, and then it is also called field force. It is also called field forces. So what we are saying is that uh, this is a force uh, which is called non-contact, which is an act on objects at a distance without the objects touching, understand class without the objects. One, we are saying uh, they are at a distance, they are at a distance and uh, without, there is no touching, without the objects touching, without the objects touching each other. Example, we have got gravity as example, examples, we have got gravity one, or we have got magnetic forces, which is also gonna be given as what? As examples of uh, field forces. Uh, all forces are measured in Newton's that I already told you all forces are measured in Newtons. All forces are measured in Newtons. I'm sure that we can still be able to remember and understand that. So understand that we have got contact forces and non-contact forces, which we are saying the non-contact forces are examples of gravity or magnetic forces, which are also defined as what? As field forces. A ways through which force can, uh, can affect different objects ways through which forces can affect can affect different objects ways through which a uh, force can affect different objects we have got one it can affect force can affect shape is one uh one shape forces force forces forces can compress or stretch an object are we together there to say force can compress it can compress or stretch an object. That is, it can affect the shape of an object. Force can affect the shape of an object class by stretching it or by compressing it. Force can affect speed. We are saying ways through which force can affect different objects. It can also affect what? It can also affect through speed. It can as well affect through speed class. Force can speed up or slow down an object. Force can speed up or slow down an object. That is quite correct. That we through force, uh, an object can increase its speed or it can be retarded, which we can give as to say, this is a way through which force can affect uh, different objects. And then we have got number three. Number three, direction. Force can affect object through direction, where it can change the direction of an object. The object, we are saying, force can change the direction of an object, which the direction of an object it is moving in. As to say that by the way an object is moving or the direction to which an object is moving to, it can be changed through what? Through, through force. It can be changed through force as to say that force can change the direction of an object in which it is moving in. So ways through which an object can, uh, uh, through which force can affect an object, we have got one, shape, two, speed, three, uh, direction. These are the three ways through which force can affect different objects. Are we together, class? Uh, let's just go to the next item. It can also types of forces, types of forces. We have got friction, types of forces. We have got friction class. Friction, the force that acts between two objects rubbing together. The force that acts between two uh, objects rubbing together. We call that when two objects are rubbing on each other, they produce a force that is called that is called friction, that is called friction because of rubbing. We have got, for example, uh, we can give an example of uh, the tires of a car, 
as they move on the tar, we can talk about the direction uh, when you are taking off a bolt from, I mean, from a nut, there is also friction that comes off there. When a bolt is being removed from a nut, there is a resistance that comes in there. We call that frictional force. That is called frictional force. And then uh, actually we are saying it slows down a moving object or prevent motion completely. We can talk about even when a car is moving, you see that when the car is touching the surface of the road, there is also the friction between the tire and the and the car tires. The car tires and the tar, there is friction there, which also is supposed to be overcome because of the momentum or the force or the engine uh, uh, performance. We have got also number two, number two tension, the force that acts when an object is pulled and is stretched. Tension force, types of forces. We have got tension glass, tension the force that acts when an object is pulled and it is stretched. That is called tension, is another type of force. We have got compression force, is number three. So we have got number one, friction, number two, tension, number three, uh, compression. Compression, the force that acts on an object when it is pushed and is compressed, that is being squashed. We say that there is compressional force. There is compressional force. And then let's just see if you have understood, if you understood what we have done today, let's quickly just check. Let's just check for the following examples, state whether the force is what is contact force or uh, is a field force. Is contact or, or is a field force? Is it contact or is field force? Are we together there? So let's look into these. Uh, examples that are given there for each of the example uh, just to make it easier I have just given the answers in red in front of the questions in front of each question there is a red uh, red mark or a red answer something uh, there is information written in red it is actually representing the answer a rubber band is stretched what type of force state whether the following is contact force or a field force when a rubber is stretched it is contact force. It is contact force. And we have got our one mark there. Uh, paper is folded in half. When a paper is folded in half, we call that it is a contact force as well. We say that it is a, con I mean, from our explanation above there, that is called what? A contact force. And then we got also our mark there. A ball is dropped and fall back to earth. When a ball is dropped and falls back to earth, what type of force is it? Contact force or is it field force? Actually, in this case, you can see there is no contact. Hence, it is called a field force, which is also given there. And then we have also our one marking that is given also there. A soccer ball is kicked. When a soccer ball is kicked, there is contact. Hence, it is called a contact force. It's called a contactive force when you kick a ball. That is an example of a contactive force again. And then number 1.5, two magnets move towards each other. When two magnets move towards each other, there is no touching. Hence, it is also called a field force. And then we have got also our one mark there. Uh, Therefore, you can see these are just uh, small examples or small questions that we have just given for us to, to understand better. For the following example, state whether the force is friction, tension, or compression force. The, these are just questions also given for your class to be able to pick it and I mean to pick it up that you understand the different types of forces. So a nail is hammered into a into, into a plank. When a nail is hammered into a plank, there is compression, and then that is called a uh, compressional force, which is given there. One mark is also given there. A rope is pulled. There is what? There is tension force. When we when a rope a rope is pulled, it produces or a force that is produced there is tension. I mean, intentional force. And then we have got our one mark again there. Wrapping your hands together 
there is heat that is produced in that regard, it also forms a what a frictional force, which is correct, and our one mark is given there. A soccer ball is kicked, there is also compression, and then our one answer is also given there. A uh, sandpaper is wrapped on wood. When a sandpaper is, is wrapped on wood, it also causes what? It causes friction, and our one mark is given there. So please just check on these. If you were to write them, were you going to get a 10 out of 10? If you get 10 out of 10, then uh, keep it up. That is what? That is very good. But if we were to write it and get less than 5 out of 10, just please uh, revise and read again the notes that are above there. Uh, keep connected. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, you always get uh, the, next, uh, the next presentation, our next lesson. There are quite a lot of lessons that are coming connected. So therefore, you won't fail and you keep uh, posted. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you.